Bits fans to another episode of Today we're taking a really good look at the Mech Fans Toys MS-11 Mini Century This is their original-ish miniature Omega Supreme now, if you're not sure what I mean by that, what this is, is a heavy retool of the Mech Fans Toys KO Diaclone power suits that they dish out with pretty much everything that they make. But anyway, enough of that and more of this. All right, so let's take it down a little bit because these things are really tiny. Zoom in and get a good look. So we'll take a look at some of the accessories first. First up, we get the appointment doctor. You know what? I cannot remember seeing this in any of the episodes, but I'm sure it's in one of them. He is highly articulated, and he's painted, well, he's not painted much, but he is painted pretty well. So the eyes are done really well. The gray plastic looks good. Red paint there is done well, red plastic there, and all of that. Uh, his head does a full 360. Have a swivel just at the torso here, plus a hinge joint here, and uh, another hinge joint at the elbow. Uh, he has a waist swivel. Uh, ball joint for the hips. So you get all the way around, you can have them doing whatever you really want, and all the way out. Have a hinge at the knee, and a ball socket at the feet. So he is incredibly articulated. I wish I knew the context of him though. Whatever. Alright. We also get, and I think this is probably the driving force for a lot of people purchasing this, a replacement head for the Mech Fans Toys or Mechanic Studio or whatever. Legends Plus Scale Omega Supreme, which I happen to have right here. This thing is amazing. I was meant to review it, but I just, I ran out of time. Anyway, a big gripe with this guy was that his face was very shitty. Very shitty. Not very good at all. So thankfully, with a little mini sentry, you do get a replacement. If it will focus, it looks pretty good. Uh, the faceplate does open, I believe. I'm not having much luck. Let me just pry it open. There we go. Faceplate opens. Now look, the paint inside isn't done that flash. The white paint around the edges, it's, it's orange plastic with white paint over the top and you can see all the chips and the fuzziness on the sides, but it's all right. It's, it's better than this, come on. Another change that they've made with the head is they've added this flap at the front just to make the tank mode look a little bit better. So if you look at the original head, it's just got this empty gap there. So they've just made it look a little bit more uniform. And then when you transform it, this flap just folds around the front Bring the head up, fold the tank treads around like that, and then just slot him in like you would normally. Much better if you ask me. Much better. That looks a million times better than that. Alright, back down to this guy now. A lot of these accessories are just replacement things, so we do get a pair of yellow feet just in case you don't like the grey ones. They're on ball sockets, so you can pop them off and just chuck the yellow ones on. We also get a pair of standard Diaclone arms, just in case you didn't want the front of the rocket and the claw as his arms, you can use these replacements. Get a pair of these pistols as well, plus we get some tank treads and their connectors. Now it's pretty simple to connect it all up, but I'll show you anyway. There he is, all done and looking perfect. Now, I just swapped his slippers out. I didn't really like the grey ones. I've gone from the yellow. Um, he looks amazing. He, he looks perfect. Now, let's just get some size comparisons out of the way first. We have Hasbro Bombshell, Hot Soldier Soundwave, and Mech Fans Toys Megatron. So he's pretty small, but super cute. All right, let's get rid of these. And take a much closer look. So there is a little bit of paint on him. Uh, his visor is done a very clean orange. It sort of looks like it will open up, but I think that's just a little bit of an error from the factory. Red paint on the chest here, red paint on the crotch area. And I think that's it. <laughs> now articulation wise, we do have a ball socket at this elbow, uh, at this shoulder here, but you've also got the butterfly forward and back. And the yellow shoulder bit does move as well, but it is impeded slightly by his backpack. You just have to move it out of the way. Not a big deal because it's a ball socket. We also get the rotation and we've got a hinged elbow, which is all nice and stiff. I am getting a little bit of separation just in the plastic there. Same on the other side. Um, I'm sure it's not a problem. Same articulation on the other side. It's all nice and stiff and all very consistent. We also have his claw, which opens that far and it is 
it's nice and stiff as well. I'm not seeing any stress marks, a little bit of a sprue just inside there, but apart from that, it seems all right. Further down, we have ball socket hips, so out to there, all the way forward and all the way back. We do get a little bit of a hip butterfly motion. We have a hinge at the knee, which is super tight and gets you back like that and forward. And as you can see, we have the ankle as well. Now this ankle um, is quite loose, quite loose indeed. And you see the pin moving inside the joint, see that? So that's making it quite loose. This one is fine, nice and fine. And then we have a ball socket, as you know, for the angle, so we get a little bit of a rock either way and a forward and back, but which is nice and stiff. So it's just that pin joint ankle letting it down a little bit. The peg hole in the back for the pistol isn't as tight as I'd like it, so I'm getting a lot of movement in the backpack. Maybe the other pistol um, would hold a bit better, but I can't be bothered doing that right now. And that's pretty much him. There isn't really many other details to talk about. Uh, he does open. You can fit a Diaclone Pilot inside, like all the other suits if you really want to. I don't have any on hand, so I'm not going to bother. Now, transformation-wise, you don't get any actual instructions. What you, what you do get is a bunch of postcards, and the postcards show all the different configurations that you can put him into. And not exactly, uh, and, a couple, and a couple of artwork ones that I don't really care about. But we're just going to stick to a couple... So we'll do his, his basic one, and and we'll do the launch pad one. So to start off with, There's the first base mode, and it's okay, I guess. It's basically just the power suit in the folded up compressed mode that the power suits do. Yeah, nothing too flash. The second base mode. This one's probably the most interesting to me. Um, it it looks kind of cool, but yeah, <laughs> uh, I guess we're not really buying it for the base mode. We're buying it for um, the playable figure. It it, does, it looks alright. It looks alright. They've come up with some interesting ideas. There's another one that I'm not going to bother doing, where it just sort of like a clamp thing with his feet. Yeah, I'm not interested. But that's that's not bad. Oh, is it worth it and should you buy? I'm gonna say yeah, yeah, it totally is. I mean, on its own, it's $25 US, so you might not feel like that's really good value for money. But if you own the Mech Fan Toys Legends Plus Scale Omega Supreme, then the replacement head and the um, Legend Plus Scale Doctor are worth the price for me anyway. And you get the Mini Omega on top of that as well. It also comes in a Guardian color, I think it is. I think the Guardian's with the blue and white. And that comes with a Doctor as well. That's $20 US instead of $25 for this color. So if you've got the other one, you can get the replacement head for that as well. I don't think that Mech Fan Toys have done the black and red version yet. And I don't know if they will but as it stands at the moment you do have a couple of options and you know they're reasonably affordable and i do recommend it and that's it now if you enjoyed this video and like what i'm doing please like and subscribe to my channel remember to check out my facebook for daily news and updates on ko and third party stuff i have instagram twitter and a facebook private group so go over there and request to join you can come in and check out all the stuff that we're up to and as always guys thank you very much for your time and thanks for watching